Good evening. I'm Rob from Walters. Temporarily out of retirement to share with you another drink that will help us through the cluster fox trout that is 2020. Tonight's diva cocktail is the classic but still contemporary Negroni. With only three equal ingredients, it's a recipe so simple even Eric Trump could make it. I remember fondly that I had my first Negroni while touring the Italian countryside with celebrated actress Gina Lola Brigida. A traditional Negroni should be made with gin or tequila. Vodka Negronis are for parties. Put one portion of your gin or tequila into the rocks glass. Then, an equal part, Campari. The third and final ingredient is vermouth. Make sure the vermouth is wet. Then, carefully place some large ice cubes into the glass. Perfect. Now, this is perhaps the most important part. The stir. A properly made Negroni is stirred, not shaken. The secret and the skill is to try to not let the stirrer touch the sides of the glass. A technique I taught to Stanley Tucci, who became very popular making a Negroni on the interwebs recently. But apparently shaking the cocktail is a better way to show off your biceps. Now that the stir is complete and I'm satisfied, it is time for the very last special something. Though not technically an ingredient, the garnish of orange zest is very important. With one twist, ah, the magnificent effervescence enters your glass. And there you have it, a perfect Negroni. I feel compelled to tell you though about a variation to this cocktail that is very popular in the UK, in which the clear liquor is replaced with Prosecco. That variation is called the Negroni Sbagliato, which technically means the wrong Negroni. But if Prosecco is wrong, I don't want to be right. Once again, this is Barbara Walters reminding you that although you might be cranky with quarantine, you can always drink it like a diva. Damn, I'm good.